Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jackie, again. Today, the topic of us about bullying. So I was one of those kids at school who were actually bullied a lot, and not just because of my, uh, my ethnicity and stuff like that, but because of like uh, just being socially awkward. So at school, I was one of those people who actually liked to help others for their own sake and help others so they can develop their own and get better. But like a lot of people usually take advantage of you being too nice. Like a lot of people will start bullying you. And as a Christian, I didn't even know what to do. Like, should I get up and fight back if it, when someone's bullying me or should I just like um take it in? Hey Ben, how's it going? <laughs> so today's question is how should a Christian respond to bullying. So a little background from me, uh, back then as a teenager I often get bullied a lot. A lot of times like people sat behind me to get this stick and just like whack it on my head. Oh. 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 Brutality. It kind of hurt a lot and like a lot of times I just can't handle it. I try to fight back but at that time they were a lot bigger than me so I couldn't really do much. In fact I was kind of thrown down instead. Uh, eventually at that time I actually was able to move away from him so I don't like I didn't need to sit next to him in class and I wasn't bullied as much. After four years I actually noticed that his parents were had a little bit issue, had a little problem that he had like a family abuse problem and the thing is that like there was this time that like it kind of occurred to me that maybe that's his way to like, express himself maybe that's his only way to handle his family abuse problem now something that took a lot of courage for me is to actually pray for him and to actually like like treat him the way you want to be treated to like to be nice to someone that you don't even like. I admit it wasn't easy and it was really hard to forgive. The Bible always taught us how you should love one another, to treat them just the way you want to be treated, to like just use God's love and spread them around. But that doesn't mean that God wants you to get beaten up. The Bible teaches us that we should be as crafty as a snake but also as innocent as a dove. He's not saying that we can't defend ourselves. He's saying that we have to use our common sense to act in a situation. But the main message the Bible is always telling us is to show your love towards them. And the thing is like, this answer seems really broad and it just seems like that you want an answer that is a one answer that fits every situation. But it's not like that. It's actually really hard to do that. There's like a gajillion circumstances we can go through an hour, like if we have to. One hour later. But the main message is actually show God's love and your faith in God. To have faith in God means more like you have to have faith in that He will do something amazing towards you and that something also amazing towards that person as well. And when time comes, you're gonna have to forgive them. One thing a lot of people can't see is to actually uh, realize what that person's actually going through, like uh, their background of what they've been through. That might be how a bully is formed, how they abuse at home, and then they use this abuse at school. Now one thing I want to say is that bullies happen everywhere around the world. You're not the only one. It happens at work, it happens at school, it happens even in a church. It happens. Now let me introduce you to someone. This is Nick Vigis- Nick Vigisic. I think I got it right. He is his motivational and inspirational speaker for Christ. For sure you know that he will be bullied at school and he was probably like suffering a lot. There are even times that I read from his book that he actually tried to commit suicide. He believed that the love, the faith and the hope that God gives him has changed him and also like radiates among everyone and he actually inspired millions of people around the world. And if there's hope for Nick and God loves us equally, then you and I are also saved by him as well. As a Christian, I think reaching out to God is a must. Reaching out to God is a sign that you have faith in him, that you actually believe that God can help you. A little tip for me is that like, remember that God will not forsake you. And in times of trouble, you always have to seek out help. In times like just family, friends, school counselors, all these people are there for you. They're there to help you and you don't be afraid to actually tell them your problem with them. And the thing is, even if you don't have any of those at home or anything like that, there's always a person that you can contact to. And that's Jesus Christ. 
He's like the father that never sleeps upon all your questions and all the problems that you have. Hey guys, it's me Jackie again. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope you learned something from it as well. Um, just want to say thank you for watching this video and thank you for subscribing um, to the video, the, the videos that I make in this channel. It's really like important to me and I feel really blessed to have you guys watching my video as well. Uh, one more thing I was want to note is that like I just made a new Facebook page, so I hope you guys can like give it a little like and then join the community. Community, join the Once Upon a Church community. Anyways, if you're new here, I make videos like uh, vlogs and stuff every Monday. So I'll see you next time, I guess. Yeah. <laughs>